Coinbase set to make its uh, trading debut this week in a direct listing. It's the largest U.S. cryptocurrency exchange with an estimated valuation of about $100 billion. It could rank among the biggest offerings by deal size. Joining us now is Amy Butte, former uh, chief financial officer of the New York Stock Exchange and currently a principal uh, at Iron Spark. And I, I know the valuation is just eye popping, and I'm not sure you want to comment on, on that, Amy, but just the business model. Uh, that, that Coinbase represents, along with what we've just seen in crypto in the last year. And, and it has almost become mainstream. Well, it is mainstream. So, so positive, <laughs> positive future for, for the, the, that whole arena and for Coinbase, I, I think you would agree. I would agree. And first of all, thank you for having me. It's great to join you this morning. Um, I'm happy to talk about valuation, but I think even more interesting is that this is real innovation in financial services. I used to joke that we haven't seen true innovation in financial services, meaning people act differently. They do things differently. It's not just efficiency, probably since the money market account in the early 70s. And I think Coinbase has added to that innovation in a few ways. You know, first, the settlement process, the fact that you're, they're using blockchain means that we don't have to worry about T plus X settlement, which has been such an issue in our markets. Second, it's really new use cases. You know, I'm not, personally, I'm not sure if crypto is an asset or a currency, but I am sure that people are using it differently. So for example, NFTs, for example, people trading it separately. And then third, I think institutions, even in the last three or four months, have really come in and corporates have come in and said, hey, I need to have crypto as a part of my, um, my treasury planning. So the use cases plus blockchain means that people are adding this to kind of their general look within their portfolio and, and their activities. Um, when I think about valuation, um, what I have been told is that people are thinking about Coinbase as a through the cycle earner. So they're thinking about valuing it more like a online brokerage firm. So they're thinking about it in that, you know, 15, 20 plus multiple. When we look at the earnings that came out and um, at, you know, one point, if you annualize um, the earnings, the adjusted EBITDA to over $4 billion dollars, I think what people are saying is, is if you look at a 15 to 20 multiple, plus you have, um, you know, that type of earnings through the cycle, that's kind of where they're coming out with the valuation.